everyone and welcome to today's video on amnesia and its types. Before proceeding any further, a quick note. We have a series of videos on the topic of memory in our channel. If you wish, you can watch these videos as it can be helpful in understanding some of the concepts from today's video. You can find the link of all of the videos in the memory playlist in the description box below. With that said, let's begin today's video. Amnesia is a memory impairment that deteriorates either totally or partially the retrieval of memory stored in the long-term memory stores. It is the loss of long-term memory caused due to physical damage or trauma to the brain or due to some form of neurological disease or psychological trauma. Now there are about 14 different types of amnesia as displayed here. However, in today's video, we will focus on two popular and key types of amnesia, namely anterograde and retrograde amnesia. Anterograde amnesia impairs the ability to create new memories. In this form of amnesia, one does not impair long-term memories per se that were stored from before the event that caused the anterograde amnesia. However, they do lose the ability to create new memories after the event that caused the anterograde amnesia. Now, there are various symptoms that mark the advent of anterograde amnesia. Firstly, the inability to form new memories impairs the ability to learn new things. In some cases, the inability to form new memories can give rise to the formation of false memories which are misinterpreted with the real memories, leading to a situation called confabulation. Additionally, this inability to form new memories can impact one's motor abilities as well, as one might face the issues of uncoordinated movements. Finally, all types of short and long-lived memories can get affected in this type of amnesia. Now, various factors can cause anterograde amnesia. Some of the common factors include suffering from Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome or Korsakoff's amnesic syndrome, which is a memory disorder in itself that results from the deficiency of vitamin B1, that is thiamine deficiency, and is associated with long-term alcohol consumption or alcoholism. Korsakoff syndrome usually damages the nerve cells and supporting cells in the brain and spinal cord, as well as the parts of the brain involved with memory. Furthermore, severe malnutrition resulting in a lack of proper nutritional levels in the body can cause the development of this type of amnesia. Memory loss in patients with brain stroke can also be associated with disorientation due to anterograde amnesia stemming from the inability to acquire or accumulate new memories after the episode of a stroke. Furthermore, external head trauma to the head which can cause concussion can often result in anterograde amnesia. Among some of the other causes include severe brain injuries affecting the hippocampus and its nearby areas. For instance, infections such as encephalitis, which is a type of brain inflammation, is even closely related to anterograde amnesia. Additionally, a reduced flow of oxygen in the blood that causes the state of anoxia can also cause anterograde amnesia. Retrograde amnesia is a form of memory loss that involves an inability to access memories formed before the onset of amnesia. Retrograde amnesia is sometimes temporary, but can also be permanent or progressive. The severity and the duration of this type of amnesia depends on what is causing it.
The symptoms of retrograde amnesia can vary depending on the nature and the severity of the injury. Some common signs that a person may experience include not being able to remember personal events, names, faces, places, dates, and other facts that were learned before the onset of this form of amnesia. Additionally, one may forget facts and information pertaining to general knowledge that they had learned before the onset of this amnesia as well. One may also have difficulties in retaining the skills and abilities that were learned before the onset of retrograde amnesia. And finally, not being able to recall older long-term memories such as events that occur during one's childhood is a common symptom or sign observed in this form of amnesia. Now, some people only lose their memories of events that happened before they began to experience retrograde amnesia, which means that they can still form new memories. But in other cases, we observe that people will have both retrograde and anterograde amnesia, which means that they will have the inability to also create new memories. Similar to the anterior grade amnesia, retrograde amnesia can also be caused due to wernicke korsakoff syndrome and encephalitis. In addition to these factors, retrograde amnesia can be caused due to suffering cardiac arrests, as a heart attack or cardiac arrest can lead to a temporary lack of oxygen in the brain, which may lead to retrograde amnesia and other cognitive problems as well as global brain damage. Furthermore, neurological diseases or progressive conditions such as Alzheimer's, Huntington's, and multiple sclerosis may lead to symptoms of retrograde amnesia as well. Furthermore, electroconvulsive therapy or ECT, which is a treatment for depression and other psychiatric conditions that involves inducing a seizure with brief electrical current, can cause retrograde amnesia-like memory loss. Now, the memory loss caused due to ECT may improve with time, but some people experience persistent memory gaps. Furthermore, seizures due to epilepsy or other causes can also damage areas of the brain associated with memory. Finally, traumatic brain injury or TBI can damage the brain due to stroke or other forms of injury that can cause memory loss similar to the retrograde amnesia. All right, that is the end of today's video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Brain Cyclopedia channel, leave a like, share this video with someone you think will benefit from today's content, comment below and leave your feedback or future video request and press the bell icon to remain updated about all our new uploads. Follow us on all of our social media sites. The link of these sites will be given in the description box below. If you liked our content, please consider making a donation to our channel on our buymeacoffee.com site. You can find the information of this site in the description box below. See you in our next video.